in ancient Greece, sport tech. In ancient Greece, sport technology wasn't as advanced as it is today. For example, they performed naked instead of in spandex. However, some records show Greeks eating herbs to enhance performance. Sports technology has come a long way. For example, Ian Thorpe of Australia wore a full body swimsuit, which helps water glide off his body. Also, today's football helmets have been designed to help prevent concussions. Performance enhancing drugs are also used to get an edge on their competition, even though they're illegal. Jim Lauderbank says when a weenie can play like Tiger Woods, sports will become meaningless. Frank Shorter from the Anti-Doping Agency believes that technology allows a much broader talent pool which may affect who makes the Olympic teams. Non-athletes today can use sport technologies to be better at their sport. If that happens, less people may not be in interested in watching the sport. Sports technology and competition has changed the game today. For example, in football, baseball, and basketball, they have added instant replay. Replay can help referees call a more fair game and get mistakes corrected. In football, some fans don't realize that there is a yellow line for the first down. In most sports, there is a super slow-mo technology in cameras. It helps fans get a cool look at the plays. Sports equipment has helped change some of the sports today. Football, for example, helmets used to be leather caps but today they are designed to protect a person's head and face. Hockey goalies used to absorb over seven pounds of sweat and their padding, but today clothing like Nike Dry Fit has allowed sweat to evaporate faster to help athletes perform better. Not all sport technology is good. In 1996, NFL Players Association survey 93.4% of players felt that artificial turf is more likely to get hurt than on natural grass. Even with athletic training, technology has helped it advance. Coaches are able to monitor an athlete's heart during competition. The coach and athlete will be able to know how much effort he is using. Another technology is ultrasound and an MRI technology. An athlete can be diagnosed in detail at the training facility instead of going to the hospital or a clinic. Technology. Steroid usage have been around for years. It helps enhance their sports ability. For example, agent games show athletes have been feeding on herbs weeks before the games. The athlete works hard. It's naturally gifted and exploits those gifts to their greatest potential. Athletes use steroids to gain a competition edge. Many steroids were developed after others were banned and detectable through testing. Mike Saunders of James Madison University did testing on drinks that helped athletes. He says the closer you get to the perfection, the harder it is to make improvements. It was established that dosing water with carbohydrates during prolonged activity improved the performance. Nike has been using technology to improve athletes' equipment, especially shoes. In the past, the shoes were uncomfortable. Today, they have different types of sports shoes that are flexible, durable, and comfortable. The different types of shoes that some of the sports have are football cleats, track spikes, basketball shoes, and wrestling shoes. Shoes trap a lot of heat, so Adidas added venting and invented a film that reflects the different wavelengths of light and heat coming. As you can see, sports technology is a very successful source in improving some of the athletes. Will it continue in improving some of the technology? However, cheating may someday be acceptable and an average Joe may become a professional golfer. That for one will lose my attention. What about yours?
stop it. Or not. Or not. <laughs>